Johnson is um, very kind, very giving, um, very, very thoughtful. I think there is so much of her that really wants to make sure that people are treated well and justly, um, and really wants to make sure that folks have uh, equal access to opportunities. So I've um, been intimately aware of the work that Julie and her husband, Jerry, have done uh, to give not only dollars to the Phoenix Union Foundation for Education and the scholars within the district, but also how much time and talent they've just put into the education system in general in Phoenix. And so uh, when I was thinking about nominating someone for this award, I was uh, uh, Julia immediately came to mind, not only because she's very generous with the dollars that she gives, but also is in meetings in um, different groups talking through how do you make education better for all kids in Arizona. Uh, and that really struck me as something that was um, honorable. I thought, oh my gosh, me? <laughs> And so it was definitely a huge honor, and I am just so appreciative and amazed by everything Phoenix Union does. And I think that all across the board, they are just really making advances in our whole educational system and really supporting the community through support of our kids. And so it was very exciting, and I, I I'm honored that Centauri nominated me, number one, and number two, it was an honor to be selected, and also it just is to know that I've had a, a part, because everything I do, I do from my heart, and so when it's something that's large enough to be recognized, it's very, it's kind of like a job. I got involved in our educational system about 15 years ago through Teach for America. So Teach for America was really the first focus in supporting our kids and our teachers in Arizona education. And through both my husband, Jerry Bernier, and I, we have been involved with sponsoring about five teachers or core members every year for, it's been more than 15 years. And then I got involved with Social Cancer Partners, which is where I met Centauri. Julie and I met when we were both part of a group called Social Venture Partners, which has actually done a lot of work with Phoenix Union um, High School District. So Julie and I were both colleagues there and then just became really good friends. And so something I would like to tell Julie, I am thankful for you. I am thankful for the work that you do for the kids of Phoenix Union and uh, to never give up and never, uh, never stop doing what you do. I think that lifelong learning now everyone knows for people of all ages is something that we need to do the kids in phoenix union and kids of all ages they are amazing they are clever they are smart they are high energy they have ideas they 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 are our future seeds of greatness and to plant that seed with these kids and even younger kids to know that always keep your mind open, keep expanding, keep creating and keep inventing, whether inventing the next new thing, inventing the next you or just opening up your mind to new possibilities.